it's unbelievable. I mean, uh, to uh, you know, to be able to power up 648 processors with bicycles is just phenomenal. The efficiency of computers has advanced so much that this latest model was powered by the Humane Cycling Club and other riders in the area. Using generators hooked to their rear wheels, they provided the power to run a sophisticated model which shows what happens to the ice sheets covering Greenland as the Earth's climate warms. What Phil and his team here have done is taken the interface of the, of the ice sheet model and simplified it to the point where there's a single knob that, this, that, that the students can turn. That at this point in time is the temperature. Turns the temperature up, makes it warmer, the ice sheets retreat and go away, turn the temperature down and, and the ice sheets will advance. This makes it very personal for the students. It very vividly brings home to them what kind of things happen and what consequences climate change can have. Dickens and his students hope to share a lot of the groundbreaking research you made scientists are doing with middle school students and the general public using what he is calling the Humane Scientific Grid Portal. It gives virtually everyone access to the power of the supercomputer. We want to put out these models and tools because they can be extremely helpful in dealing with the issues that we're facing today. It will make for a much more educated constituency. As complicated issues such as climate change and energy touch people's everyday lives, this portal to the latest humane research helps the public and perhaps future scientists better understand how the world around them is changing. It's just neat to be able to interact with the school systems and anyone out the whole world in general. You know, it might get some people interested in computer science, which we'd like as well, you know, to show them what's possible. Presenting them with a tool that they can actually play like a video game, that they can actually manipulate, that they can actually do their own experiment with. Uh, it, it, it is much more engaging, uh, will draw them in much more, will excite them about science much more, and hopefully uh, influence some of them to go into, the, into sciences as a career, uh, because we need lots of scientists. The problems uh, of, of climate, the problems of energy uh, will not be solved by uh, uh, non-scientists.